Hi, Taylor T. Carlson, and once again, it's vinyl time. One of my favorite classic rock bands of all time is Bad Company. Great classic rock group signed to Led Zeppelin's Swan Song label with their lineup featuring former free members Paul Rogers and Simon Kirk, former Mott the Hoople guitarist Mick Rouse, and former King Crimson bassist Boz Barrett. The group with this classic lineup released six albums from 1974 to 1982. There were subsequent versions of the band, most notably one in the 80s with vocalist Brian Howe, formerly of the Ted Nugent group, but for most fans, the definitive take on Bad Company is that classic four-man lineup that put out those six albums from 1974 to 1982. What we're looking at today is this. This is the new deluxe vinyl version of the Desolation Angels album, their fifth of six albums. This came out in 1979. It's best known for the hit song Rock and Roll Fantasy. So, needless to say, this album has a pretty lofty position in the hearts of many rock and roll fans. After their 1974 debut album, which is generally referred to by fans as the definitive Bad Company work, this may very well be my second favorite release from their catalog. So anyway, here's our cover art. Pretty much looks the same as the original issue. Got a beautiful gatefold on the inside here. Here is our back cover. Got the track listing to the original album up at the top. And this includes a second vinyl, which is uh, some unreleased you know, demos, outtakes, things like that. Got our list of band members there, got our artwork there. So we're gonna unbox this thing and then I'll share a few opinions on the release. First of all, we'll look at disc one, which is the original album remastered. Now this includes separate sleeves for the records, but it also includes you know, more traditional sleeves as well if you want to put your records in there. So I like that they gave you this option. So like on this side, got more of the album artwork there. I'm guessing this particular sleeve is probably a reproduction of the one that came with the original record back in 1979. There's our credits right there. And now we'll look at the actual record itself. And again, this pretty much looks like you'd expect. Got that beautiful Led Zeppelin swan song artwork on the label there. Again, disc one is the original album remastered. And now we will take a look at disc two. And once again, we have two separate sleeves here. This black one, they put the record in again with the same swan song labels. This is the disc with our bonus material. This I absolutely love right here. The side of the sleeve here has pictures of all the singles that come from the album. I used to have those uh, 45s for Rock and Roll Fantasy and Gone, Gone, Gone there, but they've got pictures of some uh, foreign releases as well, so very cool stuff there. And there's an essay on the back here from uh, David Clayton, who wrote a book on the band Free, which Paul Rogers and Simon Kirk were in before Bad Company. Obviously, I'm not going to read this entire thing in the video, but you can tell they went all out as far as throwing some information there goes. Now, if you're interested in this, you're probably curious about the bonus material. There were a lot of CD releases with a bonus disc that came out over the last few years. There is one of Desolation Angels, which actually has far more bonus material than you'll get on this vinyl, but it's more like they picked out the highlights from those reissues and just sort of made this record accordingly. So there's a little less repetition as far as tracks that have like a lot of different, you know, takes, outtakes, and so forth. So the bonus tracks you get on here are an alternative monitor mix version of Rock and Roll Fantasy, but the same for Gone Gone Gone, the same for Evil Wind, a final rough mix version of Early in the Morning, and then on Side two of the second disc, or side four as they call it here, you've got Smokin' 45, which is an outtake that was not on the original album. Monitor mixed with new vocal and overdubs. Yeah, slow version of O oh Atlanta. Alternative version of Rhythm Machine. Alternative monitor mix version of She Brings Me Love. And then an outtake called Rock Fever. It says here, mixed mix with organ and solo, most complete version. So... You've got a decent selection of additional tracks there. The Desolation Angels album, like I said, this is always 
been what's probably my favorite album after the 1974 debut. Rock and Roll Fantasy remains a huge hit on classic rock radio stations to this day, and it's easily one of Bad Company's best songs. But another single released off the album was Gone, 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 one of the very few songs the band ever released that was written by bassist Boz Burrell. Despite him not writing very many songs with the band, this is easily one of my personal favorites they ever released. A lot of great deep cuts here, plenty of rockers and ballads alike, and... It's an album that I don't think fans will be disappointed with in the least. And this deluxe edition with the second disc of bonus tracks, I'm really glad to see this get released on vinyl. Again, the CD version has more bonus material, but this feels a little more streamlined and stripped down, so it's like they give you the highlights of that package so you don't get as much repetition. I think vinyl lovers and Bad Company fans will be very happy with this release. Are you a Bad Company fan? Have you picked up any of the remastered, reissued CDs or vinyl that has come out? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also remember to subscribe to this channel for additional content because I'm always posting new videos. And give this one a like if you found it helpful or interesting. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you in my next video.